Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to take a look at every single LEGO Star Wars set that is due to retire at the end of this year. There's going to be over 25 LEGO Star Wars sets that will no longer be produced as of the 1st of January 2024. So let's jump straight into it and take a look at the first LEGO set that is going to be retiring at the end of this year. And our first LEGO set is Ahsoka Tano, set 40539, priced at £10 in the UK, $10 in the US and €10 Euros in Europe. So I'm actually a big fan of the Ahsoka Tano Brickheads, I think it's a really nice cheap Lego set, it's a good one to pick up and it'll be very sad to see this one go. Next up we have set 40623, The Battle of Endor Heroes, priced at £40 in the UK, $40 in the US and €40 Euros in Europe. Another Brickhead set that is retiring at the end of this year, this one's actually a little bit special because it only came out in May 1st of this year, so it's not been on shelves too long. I feel like it's performed pretty well, I mean it had some of the main characters from the Star Wars franchise in this set, so I do feel like the price of this Lego set will actually go up once it retires. Next up we have set 40658, the Millennium Falcon Holiday Diorama, and this is priced at £26 in the UK, $30 in the US and €30 Euros in Europe. And just like the Battle of Endor Heroes, this LEGO set actually only came out this year. It was released on October 1st of 2023, so it will have only been out for about 3 months by the time it retires. So really not a lot of time that it will have been on shelves, so if you do want to pick this LEGO set up, then I recommend you act quickly. Next up we have set 75288, the AT-80, which is priced at £150 in the UK, $170 in the US and €170 Euros in Europe. Now this LEGO set has actually been out for quite some time, it was released in August 1st of 2020, so it's been out well over three years. I don't think people will be too desperate to buy this LEGO set before it retires because I mean LEGO are always making AT-80 sets. Next up we have set 75292, the Razor Crest, and this is priced at £120 in the UK, $140 in the US, and €140 Euros in Europe. And just like the 8080, this LEGO set was released in 2020, so again, it's another LEGO set that has been out for some time. This LEGO set has sold very well over the last few years, it's even a LEGO and Amazon exclusive set. It's going to be a real shame to see this LEGO set go, it's been a real staple at the LEGO store, it's always sold very well. Next up we have set 75300, the Imperial TIE Fighter, priced at £40 in the UK, $45 in the US and €45 Euros in Europe. This is another LEGO set that I'm quite a big fan of, the TIE Fighter itself looks really good, it comes with three nice minifigures and it's in quite an affordable price range so I do feel like it's going to be a real shame to see this one go. Next up we have set 75301, Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter, priced at £45 in the UK, $50 in the US and €50 Euros in Europe. This LEGO set was released in January of 2021 alongside the Imperial TIE Fighter. It's a decent build like the Imperial TIE Fighter and comes with some nice minifigures. Next up we have set 75309, the UCS Republic Gunship which is priced at £345 in the UK, $400 in the US and €400 Euros in Europe. So this big UCS set is finally going to be making way after a few years and I'm not going to be too sad to see this one go. I do feel like it's on the lower end of the UCS sets. Not a great build in my opinion, but for those who are massive fans of the Republic gunship, I would recommend you pick up this one quick as it will be going very soon. Next up we have set 75312, Boba Fett Starship, also known as Slave 1 to most normal Star Wars fans. And this LEGO set is priced at £45 in the UK, €50 Euros in Europe and $50 in the US. Now I'm not the biggest fan of this set and the minifigures are really lacklustre. Every one of these minifigures seem to be in LEGO sets nowadays, meaning that there really is nothing special to this LEGO set. Next up we have set 75317, the Mandalorian and the Child Brickhead set, which is priced at £18 in the UK, $20 in the US and €20 Euros in Europe. This LEGO set feels like it's been around for just about a decade, so I'm really not too sad to see this one go. Anyone that's wanted this LEGO set has likely already got it, but on the odd chance that you haven't already bought this set, I recommend you go out and get it because it will be gone within a few weeks. Next up we have set 75318, The Child, which is priced at £80 in the UK, $90 in the US and €90 Euros in Europe. I really do hate this build, there's something just so annoying looking about it, I don't think it's very good at all, so won't be very sad to see this one go. 
Next up we have set 75320, the Snow Trooper Battle Pack, priced at £18 in the UK, $20 in the US and €20 Euros in Europe. I don't actually think this is a very bad battle pack, it's pretty decent, the minifigures are all pretty good, so if you're interested in this set, or if you're making a Hoth mock, then this set is definitely one you want to pick up very soon. And next up is a Lego set that really complements that battle pack, it's set 75322, the Hoth ATST. Priced at £45 in the UK, $50 in the US and €50 Euros in Europe. And it's a pretty decent build, it's a bit skinnier than most of the other ATSTs we've seen over the last few years. It even comes with a snowy version of Chewbacca which I find pretty cool. It will be a little bit of a shame to see this one go as it's at quite a nice price range. Next up we have set 75323, the Justifier, priced at £150 in the UK, $170 in the US and €170 Euros in Europe. I feel like the Justify ship isn't too bad, but the LEGO set is really let down by the lack of minifigures. Next up we have set 75324, the Dark Trooper Attack, priced at £30 in the UK, $35 in the US and €35 Euros in Europe. LEGO actually raised the price on this LEGO set and I do feel like that's really killed any enthusiasm for this LEGO set. It really just isn't worth the price. Although I do have to say those Dark Troopers are really cool. Next up we have set 75326 Boba Fett's Throne Room. Priced at £90 in the UK, $100 in the US and €100 Euros in Europe. I feel like this LEGO set was actually quite anticipated when we first heard of it and saw pictures of it. But then when we finally saw the Boba Fett series and how bad that was, that really killed any enthusiasm for this LEGO set. Next up we have set 75327 the Luke Skywalker Red 5 Helmet. Priced at £60 in the UK, $70 in the US and €70 Euros in Europe. This is one of the more unusual helmets because the helmet itself is hollow and you've got the really unique kind of translucent goggles. They look really cool. So if you're interested in picking this one up then again act quickly as it will be gone within a few weeks. Now we've got three diorama sets all retiring at the end of this year, those being the Death Star Trench Run which is priced at £60 in the UK, $70 in the US and €70 Euros in Europe. Then we've got Dagobah Jedi Training Diorama which is priced at £80 in the UK, $90 in the US and €90 Euros in Europe. And then we have the Death Star Trash Compactor Diorama which is priced at, again, £80 in the UK, $90 in the US and €90 Euros in Europe. It's going to be a big shame to see these LEGO sets go, they were the first in the diorama line which we're going to have continued throughout next year. I'm a big fan of the Death Star Trash Compactor along with the Jedi Training Diorama. I feel like dioramas that have minifigures, they just look a lot better in my opinion, so it will be a shame to see these ones go. Moving on to a LEGO set that we won't be sad to see go is set 75332, the ATST, which is a 4 plus set, priced at £30 in the UK, $35 in the US and €35 Euros in Europe. And this is arguably one of the worst priced Lego sets I've ever seen. It's just an absolutely shambles of a Lego set. I just hate everything about it. And yet you'll still get people defend this Lego set saying it's for kids, it's a 4 plus set. But I still think that kids deserve a better quality Lego set than this. Moving on we have set 75334 Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader. Priced at £45 in the UK, $50 in the US and €50 Euros in Europe. Not a great set in my opinion, but the minifigures were pretty good. It comes with a few exclusive minifigures, so if you do want to go out and get this set for these minifigures, then again, act quickly because it will be gone at the end of December this year. Next up we have set 75335 BD1, priced at £90 in the UK, $100 in the US and €100 Euros in Europe. It still remains to be seen whether we're going to get more LEGO Star Wars sets based on that game franchise, so we'll just have to wait and see. Next up we have set 75336, the Inquisitor's Transport Skive, priced at £90 in the UK, $100 in the US and €100 Euros in Europe. I think this is a really good LEGO set, this will be a shame to see it go because it only came out in August of last year. The build looks really menacing and it comes with four fantastic minifigures, all of which are exclusive to this LEGO set. Next up we have set 75338, the Ambush on Ferrex, priced at £70 in the UK, $70 in the US and €80 Euros in Europe. This LEGO set is really overpriced for what it is, so if you can go out and get it on a discount that would be highly recommended. But this is the only LEGO set that is based on the Andor series, so it's a little bit special in that regard, so if you do want to get it, go out and grab it very quickly. Next up we have set 75342, the Republic Fighter Tank, priced at £40 in the UK, $40 in the US and €45 Euros in Europe. 
and this is the Lego set that I'm most sad to see go this year. It's been an absolutely phenomenal Lego set, it's sold so well throughout its lifespan. Although the build itself isn't that great, it's the minifigures that have absolutely sold this set so well. It comes with three great clone troopers, a fantastic mace window with arm printing, and two regular B1 battle droids. So I can't stress enough, if you do want this Lego set, act very quickly. It is selling out all over the place from what I'm aware of, so if you do want this, go out and get it right now. Next up we have set 75343, the Dark Trooper helmet, priced at £60 in the UK, $70 in the US and €70 Euros in Europe. It was a really weird helmet to see get released, it was based on the scene at the end of Mandalorian Season 2 with the Dark Troopers. Not very mainstream so I'm not too sure if this has a mass appeal to most Star Wars fans. And the final Lego set retiring at the end of this year, at the end of December, is set 75366, the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. Priced at £30 in the UK, $45 in the US and €48 Euros in Europe. In my opinion, last year's advent calendar was much better, it had better minifigures and this year was a little bit lacklustre, but nonetheless, if you do want this, go out and get it right now. But there we have it guys, every single LEGO Star Wars set that is due to retire at the end of this year. It's going to be a real shame to see some of these LEGO sets go. But this is your heads up, you've got a chance now to go out and get any of these LEGO sets if they're still in stock. So all the best to you. If you found this video enjoyable and if you found it helpful, then please do hit that like and subscribe button. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.